So the project we did in the workshop was building a picnic table with benches. On the first day, NJMA showed us the layout of the project and walked us through the process of building this piece. These are the details and measurements of the table that we based our works on. The whole project was built by parts which consisted of the tabletop, seat boards, and the legs. We started off by choosing the suitable woods, and Che Amir advised us to pick the decent looking woods for the tabletop as it will be the surface of the overall project. On November 16th, we did the first part of the project, that is the tabletop. We prepared 5 wood planks that were cut at the same length of 60 inches. The boards are then screwed onto two battens that were cut at 45 degrees angle at both ends. We used the mitre saw for the cutting process for its ability in multiple angles cutting. We made sure that the screws were placed correctly by measuring and marking. We used a nail gun to put the wood planks together before battening using 2 inch screws. We continued the project on November 23rd with the table legs. There were four legs in total. As per usual, we had to take measurements and do markings on the planks before cutting them. Both ends of each leg were cut at the angle of 30 degrees. When attaching the legs to the tabletop, we had to use an F-clamp to hold them in place so that nailing and screwing can be done easier and more precisely. We used a cordless drill to put screws in place and since the wood was thick, we had to make holes using a cordless drill so that it would be easier and faster to screw the parts together. The following week on 30th November, we attached the side stretcher or the seat support to the legs of the table. We used a bubble level to make sure they are straight and on uniform level. A lot of measuring and markings were needed in this process as we need to make sure they are precise. It had to be done meticulously so that the seat can be comfortable to sit on. We used F-clamp and a cordless drill to assemble the parts. On 14th December, we proceeded to build the seats of the picnic table. The two seats were placed on two sides of the table facing each other. Just like the tabletop, decent looking planks were chosen for this part. We started off by making rectangular frames using thinner wood planks. We use a heavy-duty stapler gun and a nail gun to assemble the pieces together. The frame was then screwed onto two wood planks. Two sets of seats were prepared for the table. Before securing the seats to the table, we did some test runs by sitting on them. This is to make sure that the seats are placed at a comfortable length and distance between each other. On 21st December, before the finishing, we repaired the cracks and holes on the picnic table by putting in wood filler. We used a ready mix filler and a scraper to push in the filler into the cracks.
Once the filler are dried, we proceeded to the flattening and smoothening process on 20th of December. We used a hand sander and 120 grit sandpaper for this process. For the more severe parts that needed flattening, we used a wood planner. And lastly, we did the shellac on 4th of January. We used a clear shellac mixed with a bit of thinner to quicken the drying process. We did two cuts of shellac as the final finishing.